everyone. What I want to show you today is uh, a lick that I use a lot between the hi-hat, snare, and bass drum. And it's based on a six-stroke roll. Right, left, left, right, right, left. Okay, so very simple. Now what we're going to do is, uh, on the r first right and the last left, we're going to add accents, and you can hit a rim shot, and the, the doubles in between, the left, left, right, right, are going to be ghost notes. Okay, so practice this very slowly, like this. Make sure you're getting the sounds right. So accent with a rim shot, ghost notes very soft. You really want that uh, sound difference and also dynamic difference. And when you get faster, if you don't have the sounds down, it gets it sounds sloppy. Okay, so now I'm going to play the same thing in a continuous flow. Okay, so now what we're going to do is just move the right hand to the hi-hat. It's going to be the exact same thing. The only thing that's going to change is that when there's an accent on the hi-hat to the first note, you're going to play it with the shaft of the stick on the edge of the hi-hat. And the ghost note is going to be the top of the hi-hat uh, with the, the tip of the stick. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is just going to add a bass drum on the first note of the lick, on the right hand. Okay, so that's the first part of the lick. Now we're going to do the second part of the lick, which is another six notes. And the six notes are, these are all ghost notes on the snare right left right left left kick right left right left left kick all the strokes on the snare are ghost notes the kick is accented Okay, now the only thing we're going to do is add an accent on the first note, so a rim shot. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. Move the right hand to the hi-hat and do the exact same thing. Okay, so that's the second part. And these, you could use these as separate licks also. The first one could be one lick, second one could be another lick. So now we're going to link the two of them together. Okay, so I'll play it slowly.
Okay, so that's the lick. Now I'm just going to play it. So I'm playing this lick right now as 16 note triplets. So I'm going to play it in a groove just so you could hear what it sounds like. Then you could move the lick around the kit, orchestrate it, keep the exact same stickings, the exact same accents, and just move your arms around the kit, doing the same sticking, and you'll get different orchestrations and sounds. Now, when you start orchestrating around the kit, before you do, you have to really know the lick inside out. Uh, because if you try to start orchestrating it before you do, it's really going to get confused. There's too many things going on. So you got to do one thing at a time. First get the lick down, just between the hi-hat, snare, and kick, till you don't have to think about the sticking or the accents or anything anymore. It's really second nature. And every time you learn a new lick, you should always do this, because this is what's going to get you to really be free with the lick and to come up with your own licks out of this even if you're playing the exact same sticking just playing a different orchestration will make it sound totally different so what you can try and do at the beginning is just play it very slowly the lick over and over again and then just start moving your arms around the kit keeping the sticking exactly the same Okay, so there I was just randomly moving around the kit. I got screwed up once, I played a little different sticking, but it's okay, just do it as much as you can. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this lesson and got something out of it and I'll see you guys soon.